Hello and welcome to the creation of hope. Here, Solid Joe is reapplying the decoupage paper after being unhappy with it the first time around. Luckily, the paper from Mint by Michelle stood up to the test of being removed and reapplied. Tracing around the design helped to plan out the placement of the mouldings. A bit of a headache in of itself. Decisions, decisions. Like many furniture upcycling projects, when the first mouldings were being applied, Solly began to realise the size of the task in front of her. Notice how she's covering all of the back of the 723 moulding in wood glue to make sure it sticks. Heating up the mouldings also helps them to adhere better. Painting! Using Dixie Bell's gravel road for the mouldings and a lighter fluff around the outside gave a smoky, cloudy look. Let's see what Solly's up to next. And today I am applying a Would You Bend Trim TR124 to the surface of this dresser. Now the trim has been on the griddle for the past 10 minutes so it's nice and warm and pliable. And I'm just going to chop it off there with my Stanley knife, it's nice and warm. And just push it down on the surface and then I can remove any excess glue with a baby wipe or my fingers or a wet paintbrush. If your trim overhangs, it's not an issue. Like all would you bend mouldings, they can easily be shaved and sanded. What are you doing? I'm trying to actually unblock it and get this first open so I can put the, open the rest one. And she's making a video <laughs> of me. Okay, moving on. To ensure the drawers still work properly, the mornings were warmed, sliced and shaved. In a characteristic change of mind, Solid Joe swaps up the colour scheme, opting for, amongst others, Dixie Belle's collard green, lemonade and mint julep. It adds a touch of colour to the design, but still keeps that antique look she was going for. Solly is heating a 1394 moulding and holding it in place whilst it cools before using it as a guide for the others. As Hope begins to take shape, Solly Joe continues the new green colour scheme around to the front. Back to the now cool 1394 mouldings, as long as you're using a flexible paint, they can be painted before use. Now, this is not the first time Solid Joe has used these colours. She has previously created a green fairy tale style TV unit. It's over on the Would You Bend Facebook page and the YouTube channel. To give the piece depth and to protect it, Best Dang Wax in Black is added. It's always best to add a little more than you need and then come back in to remove the excess. Adding wax to the decoupage paper emphasised the aged look which Sonny was aiming for. When using post shop pigments it's always better to add your mix a second. It helps you control the consistency and you won't waste any pigments. For even more control invest in a pipette. The pigments are perfect for adding just the right amount of bling to whatever projects you're working on. They can even be used for stenciling as Solly adds a bit of something extra with the Mystery Thorn stencil before distressing it to tone it down a little. Again, wax is used to add depth and to protect the paint underneath. Time for some sexy lingerie. Using the red medium cadmium metallic paste, Solid Joe uses water to thin the consistency and then use the paste as a paint before giving Hope the extra ooh la la with the reigning in Paris stencil and post chalk pigments. The pigments offer fantastic coverage and are great for breathing new life into old hardware to add that final flourish. Thank you for watching The Creation of Hope.